what's going on everyone we are back with another video and we are back to the system proficiencies uh five star challenge uh, whatever you want to call it uh today we are going to be rebuilding a team using the pace and space uh system um this is a system that's going to be a lot more easy than balancing grit and grind there are a good amount of five and four and a half star uh players who had yeah players um as far as five stars are concerned, again, the majority of them are going to be untouchable, uh, but you do have guys like Clay Thompson, Kyle Lowry, uh, Paul George, Jason Tatum, Kyrie Irving, sometimes not untouchable. Um, it looks like everybody else is going to be untouchable, so hopefully we get a really nice draft pick. Um, but yeah, we do. there are a good amount of four and a half star and four stars, so hopefully we never have to go down to the three and a half stars. Um, but as far as, you know, the quality of players, you know these are like it's basically you know the highest overalls are really good in the system um so it, it might you know as as much as i want to say it's going to be easy to build around this system it's going to be hard to trade for a lot of these players like to get like all these guys on the team um there definitely are some lower overalls that will be easier to trade for you know got got guys like draymond green who's like a 79 overall uh divincenzo you know he's like a 77 um, you got guys like uh, John Wall, 82, Victor Oladipo, I think he's like an 82, Dejounte Murray, 80, Eric Bledsoe, 83 and stuff. Um, but yeah, I think this should definitely be easier than balancing grit and grind, so let's just get right into this. Hopefully we do get a high draft pick so we can get one of those really good guys, uh, and it doesn't look like we do. And I just accidentally simmed everything. I didn't mean for that to happen. So I accidentally simmed, uh, but we did get... Uh, we're just gonna deal with it. Um, I made a mistake. Didn't mean to, but we do have Carl Anthony Towns. Moving to power forward, maybe he goes up to five star. Kyle Lowry, he might be safe. Um, everybody else is definitely not. For sure, no one else is. Um, but let's look at coach game plan. If we move Cat to power forward, um, we want pace and space. Cat goes to four and a half, so he does have to stay at center if I do want to keep him. Um, and he might because I don't really there is really no better center you know you have Bam out of Biles four and a half stars but there's no five star center so Cat is actually probably safe alright we're back we uh, trade for Jared Allen uh, we still have Rui Hachimura they're not interested in trade still but what if we throw in two firsts Still not interested. Let's do two seconds. We do have a lot of first round picks now. So let's try the Aaron Holiday now. Um, let's throw in their worst player, of course. Still not interested. Let's throw in one more first. How is this not getting it done? Four firsts. Okay whatever we got clay thompson all right it might be hit hard to try that to trade for jason tatum uh but he is available so we're gonna get we trade for mitchell robinson we also trade for jared allen uh we also have this very valuable valuable first round pick they don't want to do that but they'll throw it what the marcus aldridge and jason Tatum. this is fantastic trade value for later i'm 100 percent okay with that Starting lineup will now have Kyle Lowry, Klay Thompson, Jason Tatum, and Carl Anthony Towns. Jason Tatum is probably the last five-star guy we can get for this team uh, because I'm pretty sure everybody else will be untouchable besides Paul George. Um, but I don't think we can trade for Paul George just because his team is buying. We would have to have an tra insane trade for him, which now that we have to work Saldridge, might be possible. All right, we're here with Paul George. Um, he's basically the only or he's the last five star who's not untouchable we will have to m move him or clay thompson to the small forward so hopefully one of them stays or they still stay as a five star but we have lamarcus aldrich here uh we do have two pretty valuable first round picks um didn't think that was gonna get done but we have kemba walker too which gets the trade done which is really nice we now have paul george we're gonna move him to small forward real fast and see if he is still a five star hopefully he is okay so we have four five stars and a four and a half star um 
Again, Cat is going to be the best guy we can get at center anyway because there are no five-star centers in this system proficiency, which is kind of weird. I feel like, I mean, obviously, if anybody was, it would be Cat, but I feel like Cat should be anyway. Uh, but anyway, yeah, now we have to work on the bench because the bench is pretty trash. Best starting lineup ever. Terrible bench. Terrible bench. We have no picks either so i'll see what i can do with this team all right we trade up for nurkic uh we're gonna try and trade for chris paul here we are not interested in the trade let's just throw a young guy in there uh not just tatum uh, frank jackson yeah cameron paints two stars maybe he'll move the needle a little bit second round pick probably not gonna do it but they do want um picks uh they want two firsts and a second for norman powell i don't know i guess he has some trade value Sure, why not? All right, we're gonna try something here. Normally, I wouldn't do this, but we're gonna trade Lamarcus Aldridge for this first round pick and Cameron Johnson because they were rebuilding. So I think that really good draft pick will do wonders for that trade. All right, we're back with this trade. Um, we got Bradley Beal and Chris Middleton. We have Hassan Whiteside, who doesn't have good trade value, and Daniel Tice, who won't have good trade value either. But again, that first round pick. First round pick, first round pick, one more first round pick, and they'll give us a Davis, okay. Yeah, I'm okay with that. So we finally have our two backups. Two, or we have three backups now, and Chris Paul, Bradley Beal, and Chris Middleton. Uh, system proficiency is only, it's only gonna end up being four and a half starts is the bad thing, but we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yeah. So we need our front court um, off our bench. Bam Adebayo is probably going to be one of them. Um, the two centers are Embiid and Jokic. I don't think I'm going to get either of them. Uh, so the next center would be Kristaps. And if we can't get him, then we're going to have to go to the three and a half stars and get like a Vucevic, DeMarcus Cousins, Tristan Thompson. Yeah, basically every other center is like three and a half stars. Um, so we're going to try and go for one of the four stars or four and a half stars or wait, no, Bam would be our center. Perfect. So we would need a power forward and for power forward, you guys know are very hard to get is Pascal Siakam or I guess Kristaps could play power forward too or Bam, one of the two, vice versa, but we have like no assets now. All right, we're going to try and get Draymond Green. Um, we can just do this. Oh my God. We actually got him. Um, I'm fine with him being our backup power forward. I don't really care. He's our, he's a four star. We, I just don't have the assets to be able to trade for a guy like Bam or someone like that of that quality. So we are just going to have to run Draymond Green. Um, again, he's really nice still anyway. And so now we just need our backup center and I don't think we're going to be able to trade for Bam out of bio or Chris stops. So it is probably going to have to be a three and a half star. Um, probably on the level of like DeMarcus Cousins, who isn't bad. He's still like an 81 overall or something. All right, so we have a final roster. We couldn't trade for Bam. We couldn't trade for Chris Stops. So uh, I forget where I last left off. Um, I was just making a bunch of random trades, trying to get the Chris Stops to work. But we did end up with uh, Steven Adams, who is three and a half stars, I believe. Steven, Steven Adams. Yeah, he's three and a half stars. So we have Kyle Lowry, Clay Thompson, Paul George, Jason Tame, and Carl Anthony Towns all starting. Really like this team, actually. Even defensively, outside of Cat, that team, the starting line is really good. But then uh, we have Chris Paul, Bradley Beal, Chris Milton, Jamon Green, Steven Adams coming off the bench. This was probably the hardest one to get a good bench just because, you know, the quality of players was so much higher uh, with this challenge. But this is proficiency, pace and space, of course. Uh, yeah, four or five stars, four, four and a half stars, then a four star. And wait, oh yeah, three and a half stars. Yeah, this is, I think, the first time we've had a three and a half star, but it was just, it was literally impossible. It was impossible, but um, even with our assets of like Robert Covington, Bismack, Tony Bradley, still couldn't pull off anything. Everybody, you know, Bam, Kristaps, they were both on teams that were buying, so we couldn't even make it work. Um, but yeah, let's see what this team can do. I think, I mean, oh, this team is actually really disgusting. Like, this team is disgusting. Bro, this game is cap, bro. 70 and 12. Would I show you the calendar? I fucking swear, bro. I swear. Is Ricky, no, Ricky Rubio wasn't on our team. 
But yeah, obviously we ended up as the best team. Did we get any all NBA players this time? Dude, still, the only time we had an all NBA player was Jokic in, I think, the balance system type. But uh, yeah, look, just look at this calendar. Look at this calendar. Okay, first, like, this is how we lost. We, we would win like 70 games in a row and then lose like two or three games, four games in like a bunch. So you see like three losses in six games. And then we get a huge win streak, two losses in a week, win streak, one loss there. Huge win streak. Last month, one, two, three, four, five, six losses. Six, half of our losses came in the last four weeks of the season after we didn't lose a game in like the prior like seven weeks. We only lost one game in like the prior 10 weeks of that come on 2k you're capping so hard so hard bro i hate 2k uh standings nobody else even had a good sim uh season stats sorry not that player stats uh, paul george list with 19 cat with 17 and a half jason tame with 17 and a half bradley beal 16 and a half and clay thompson with 15 rebounds clay cat steven adams paul george um, assist Kyle Lowry, Chris Paul. Yeah, I guess we had a lot of playmakers on the team, so it makes sense that no one really led uh, the team like significantly. Field goal percentage looked really nice for Jason Tatum, man. Paul George, really you Chris Paul. Oh my god, that's disgusting. Three point percentage, bro. Can we just like admire that right there? Jason Tatum, almost fifty percent, bro. That's unreal. Uh, Chris Paul, 54-90. Chris Milton, 54-90. Paul George, almost there. Uh, same with Bradley Beal, Clay Thompson. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. If we don't win, I swear. Uh, Charlotte team, uh, I don't think we made a trade with. Um, I um, eh, gave him Cody Zeller. So, not a significant trade. Um, I did want Jalen Brown at one point, but... Uh, that didn't end up working out or we ended up getting chris milton and bradley beal so we didn't need uh jalen brown but it seemed like this round okay we win five uh we win by 12 in the closeout paul george nope bradley beal dropped 22 and five paul george 18 and five uh we got milwaukee here who have norman powell we gave him norman powell we almost traded for demontis a bonus like a thousand times uh, let's simulate round there they take us to six i was not comfy right there uh we beat him by 12 again in the closeout chris milton leads up to 24 paul george 20 cat 20 uh we got toronto here who i think we traded the mantras i think we had mantras at some point so i think we definitely took something good from their team we also gave them aaron bain so i think we actually took a pretty nice player from their team if we trade them both my guess is, I don't know. My guess is we took one of our guards from them. I don't know which one, but simulate round. Whoo, five. We're going to game six, and we win six games. Box score. We, okay, we blew him out this time. Terrence Ross dropped 24 on us, but Chris Milton, 33, and Paul George, 27. Uh, now we got the Nuggets here, who have Fred Van Bleet, Charles Brown Jr., Sarit, Cousins, who we almost traded for. Um, I don't think we, oh, wait, I think. We may have had Cantor at one point. I think we probably took their start. No, they wouldn't have had Fran Bed Fleet, Jimmy Butler, and a really good shooting guard. Would they? No, we didn't. Because we didn't take Beal from them. And who was And Clay Thompson. Did we take No, we wouldn't have taken Clay Thompson because Clay Thompson was on a rebuilding team. There's no chance Jimmy Butler and Fred Van Vliet and Clay Thompson would be on a rebuilding team. But simulate round here and we 4 1 them. Cat is your finals MVP at 16, 12 and a half. So, there you guys go. That was the Pace and Space uh, five-star rebuilding challenge. We failed. We got four and a half. Um, but, you know, the question we're trying to ask is, is it possible to even rebuild a team um, at all? And honestly, I would say no. Um, unless, again, you have, like, a top five pick where you can get one of those untouched, or maybe, like, a top seven, eight, nine, ten pick where you can get one of those untouchable players because you can trade for clay you can, you can sometimes trade for jason tatum kyrie irving kyle lowry um paul george you can trade for all those guys um but what position do we like center actually 
I don't think it's possible. Unless Giannis is a center is five star because he's a power forward, he's five star. So if you were to move him to center, if he were to be five star, then it would be possible. Or, you know, if you were able to move Anthony Davis to center it, it, and be five star, it would be possible. But if those two guys moved to center weren't five stars, then it is actually impossible to do this challenge. It is impossible. So given everybody's current positions, I would say it's impossible. Um, let me actually find what team Giannis is on. Giannis, 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 or Anthony Davis. Giannis or Anthony Davis. Did I pass them? Okay, Anthony Davis is on the Rockets. Wait, so we have the Rockets, and then... So Rockets and Wizards. So we're going to control both the Rockets and Wizards. And see? Because, honestly, this might be an... This might be an impossible one. Uh, we got the Rockets here. Roster. We are going to change his position to center. Uh, Giannis, we're going to change his position to center. Uh, then we're going to go to system proficiency, post centric, pace and space. We have to move Giannis to center. Okay, so Giannis is five stars. Um, Anthony Davis is four and a half stars. So the only way to complete this challenge would be to have a top three pick where you could choose Giannis. He usually goes like number one or two. You know, it's like Luca's right there, him. Um, I want to say they're usually the top two picks. Um, so unless you have a top two pick, maybe top three to get Giannis. You cannot complete this challenge because he's the only guy who has a five star proficiency. Wait, this is seven seconds. Shoot. Okay, Anthony Davis does work too. Um, so I think you can get Anthony Davis top five, top six. So unless you, again, so the only way to complete this challenge is to get Giannis or Anthony Davis. Um, so unless you get that, there's no way you can complete this challenge. Um, so yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed um i don't know which one's next we got perimeter centric uh yeah i got the players for perimeter perimeter centric posts yeah next one is oh and triangle i don't have post centric yet but i have triangle and perimeter centric so we're probably gonna do perimeter centric next which does look not possible i'm looking at it right now it does not look possible it's like the, yeah, the only, yeah, Giannis is the only front court or I like power forward center player who uh, is a five star. Everybody else is like four and a half stars or four stars. But yeah, um, be on the lookout for that next video. Um, and yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Peace. Mm.